right, let me bring in, we're, we're going to be bringing in surrogates for all the campaigns. First one is up is Tad Devine. He's chief strategist for the Bernie Sanders campaign. Tad? I, I assume you uh, you thought yeah, your candidate we did okay. well. I, I, we always okay. know that. So we'll get let's that. Get that over with. Let's okay. get that over with. Um, it was a different Bernie Sanders tonight. Yeah. He was aggressive, and he went after Hillary Clinton on a lot of things. We just talked about right. Goldman Sachs. I'll be honest with you. Um, I remember you saying a few months ago that that wasn't the type of campaign we'd be seeing. Why why bring up speaking fees? Is that not a personal attack? Is that the that was just, I was surprised from, sure. from you guys. You know, I think the Goldman Sachs settlement this week of five billion dollars really did a Paul Bernie. And and I and I think, you know, also he's just decided there are big differences between he and Hillary Clinton. And we made an ad about it. People kind of went crazy over the ad. I mean, but I think it's a very straightforward thing. There's two different democratic visions for what we're gonna do about Wall Street. There's the Wall Street Democratic vision and there's Bernie and you know others in the Demo Elizabeth Warren and the Democratic Party who believes we need to take them on and we can't take them money and take him on at the same time. So I think it's a legitimate fight. He wanted to make it. I think he made it powerfully. There was another issue uh, on which they clashed, gun rights, uh, in which Bernie, at least to my ears, and I think to everybody's ears, never really answered the question, never answer, really answered the question, why did you change your position? Uh -huh on immunity for gun rights. Well, listen, he said a couple of months ago that he'd be open to look at it. Now, a piece of legislation came to him a couple of days ago. He said he's comfortable country, supporting it. He wants an amendment in it, an, an amendment that basically says right. we should protect, protect mom now, and pop gun is, stores. Okay? And, you know, right so, you know, change position, what, you know, I, listen, characterizing Bernie Sanders as a guy who's terrible on guns, which is what Clinton, Hillary Clinton and her campaign is doing, is just not true. He's a D-minus NRA life-rated guy from a rural state. He has the best record of anybody in Vermont on that issue from the gun safety perspective. But you know, it's interesting, Ted, I, I, look, to my ear, you hear Bernie Sanders on every other issue, it's, he wants to make big changes. He's, right. he's ready to sort of break up big systems, this or that. On the gun issue, he sounded like another Washington politician. Well, yeah, that's not what I heard. You know, uh, listen, I know his record on guns. I know in 1988, when he ran for Congress for the first time, he lost that race, probably because he said he opposed, uh, he would support a ban on assault weapons. Mm -hmm. You know, I know he supported background checks since the early 90s. I know he's been strong on a lot of these things. Yeah, there's been a few issues with it and differences, but to try to take that and to say this guy is terrible on the issue is just a bridge too far. And I think that that's why Hillary's attack on this is going nowhere. Well, it's not necessarily saying he's ter terrible on the issue. But to say that he is out of step with the Democratic mainstream on this issue, I think that would be a fair thing to say. I don't. And I'll tell you why. Because he's got a record of voting for a number of common sense gun safety measures, like background checks, close the gun show loophole, get rid of the straw man provision. You know, he's got a lot of votes in his record. And I just think, you know, if he was, you know, Howard Dean had an A rating, mm -hmm. if he was the current governor of Vermont in an A rating, if he was other politicians from rural states and had A ratings, you know, Ted Strickland, okay, A plus rating, mm -hmm. well, that would be fair. I get it. But I don't think it's going to stick to him because he has a lot of very strong votes when it comes to guns. Let me ask you, though, where do you guys go from here? You know, when it, when it comes to, it was clear that Hillary Clinton's strategy was wrap herself in President Obama. Yes. I noticed um, that. Right. Yes. yes. But it does imply that you guys are, are, are you know, are, are you wanting to build upon President Obama's legacy? Or does he want to change a lot of things? It seems like he thinks Dodd-Frank didn't work. He thinks like Obamacare didn't work. What is it? You know, he does want to build on President Obama's legacy. He recognizes that the president came into office at a time when this country faced perhaps a second Great Depression, that the president had to lead us out of that, and he did. But Bernie wants to take us in a different direction. His policies are different. He believes health care is a right for all. We presented a plan for it. He believes, you know, his foreign policy, I think a lot of it, he's very similar to what President Obama does. And I think, frankly, Hillary Clinton is a lot more aggressive and a number of barriers when it comes to military intervention, for example. So I think, yes, he wants to build on President Obama's policies, but Bernie wants to take us in a different direction, away from a party that's too beholden to Wall Street. He believes the economy is rigged, it sends too much wealth to the top, and it's held in place by a corrupt system of campaign finance. That's our message. You got it all in. Tad Devine, <laughs> Chief Strategist for Senator Sanders. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.